Hi, in today's video, we're going to be going over how to use our website's product selector as well as other design tools on our website to figure out uh, what sort of cameras and MBRs we need for a specific project. So let's come up with an imaginary project. Let's say a customer wants to purchase 28 cameras and he wants these cameras to be outdoor as well as five megapixels. And he's also going to meet, need a MBR for these cameras as well. And he wants to be able to record for 30 days continuously. Okay, so for this example, we're going to first figure out uh, what type of camera we need. So first, we're going to go under products right here and go under product selector. And here is going to be our product sector where you can basically uh, filter out different specs and then figure out uh, the right camera for you or MBR. So I'm gonna go ahead and select IP camera right here. And um, since they wanted a outdoor camera, I'm gonna go ahead and select bullet for them for the type of camera. Um, for resolution, they said they wanted five megapixels. And for indoor outdoor, we said they wanted a outdoor camera. So these are the different cameras that showed up that uh, fell under the specs. So for this example, we're gonna go ahead and uh, select this one right here. So we're gonna just, to select a Z5R8852X. Okay, so that's the one we're gonna have. I'm gonna go ahead and type that in right here in our notepad, for, just for notes. All right. So now that we have our camera, we know we're gonna order 28 of these. Um, we are next gonna need an MVR. So I'm gonna go ahead and click reset filter. And these are gonna be the MVRs. Um, we first wanna figure out how much storage we want for this MVR. So we're gonna go ahead and actually go up here and go to storage and under design tools, we're gonna to go to bandwidth and storage calculator. And here, since we know the type of camera we want, we can actually use this tool to figure out uh, how much storage we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and select camera. I'm gonna scroll down towards the five megapixel section. And I'm going to go ahead and look for a camera here. It's going to be right here. OK. And for resolution, I'm going to go ahead and select 5 megapixels, which is what they wanted. For quality, this is going to be the bit rate. I'm just going to go ahead and select 2 megapixels. And for frames per second, I'm going to go ahead and select 20. And they wanted to record for 30 days continuously. So for hours, I'm going to go ahead and do 24 hours. And for days, I'm going to do 30 days. Just to estimate for the amount of months. Uh, I know some are 31, 29. And then for amount of cameras, uh, let's go ahead and do 28. And this is the amount of storage he's going to need for 28 cameras. So here I have a calculator later and I'm going to go ahead and put that in and I'm going to go ahead and divide by 1024 which is going to be uh, converting megabytes and terabytes and yeah so now that we did that conversion we know we need 17.3 uh, terabytes of storage so MVR with 17.3 17 17 terabytes of storage. Alrighty, so now that we know how much storage we need, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the product selector. And for the MVR, uh, we're gonna go select number of channels. Um, since we have uh, 28 cameras, we're gonna wanna select um, 32 channels, which is gonna be the next one up. And for max resolution, um, we're just gonna go ahead and select eight megapixels. Um, it will take five megapixels since our cameras are five megapixels. So we're just gonna select eight for now. And here we're gonna see that there is a MVR 5832 at in limited stock. So I believe that one should be the one that we're going to get. 
So there's the regular one and then 52S. So it'll be our 50 or 5832. All right, so now that we know the MVR we want, um, it's either going to be the MVR 5832 or the MVR 5832S. And when we purchase the MVR, we want to make sure that it has at least 17.3 uh, terabytes of storage. And uh, that, and usually you want to at least have, let's say, um, a few terabytes over. So let's aim for about 20. And we're just going to have to take into account uh, the different sizes of terabytes that it comes in as well. So it can maybe there could be a four terabyte, a 12 terabyte hard drive, depending on the size of terabyte you order as well. So that's all going to differ between um, the type of uh, hard drive you purchase. But yeah, um, in this case, they would purchase 28 Z5R cameras, and then they'd purchase one of these uh, MBRs with a minimum of 17 storage as well. So yeah, that concludes how to use our website's product selector as well as uh, other design tools.